YouTube, what's going down? It's your boy United Buns One, bringing you with a mass review this week. And before you even say, wait, hold up, Buns, you already did this. Like, I know I already did this, but when I did this, it didn't have any commentary on it. It was just straight gameplay, and my commentary was pretty much in the description. And I doubt anybody ever read that. So I'm bringing it to you with some commentary this time. Now, one of the first things you want to note about the FAMAS is that it has a really fast fire rate, and it's the fastest fire rate out of all the um, assault rifles in the game, so it makes it pretty much one of the best guns in the game. And with this great speed that this gun could spit out bullets, it also comes with a lot of recoil. But this recoil can be managed. Like, I see a lot of pro players use this gun. And when they use this gun, they like the burst fire. That's the same thing I do. So pretty much all you have to do is just shoot in small bursts with this gun and you should be fine. Now, the way that I like to set up this gun is with the silencer and the grip. And now, it doesn't really matter which silencer you pick as long as you don't go unsilenced. Because this gun unsilenced can have a lot of muzzle flash and if you don't know what muzzle flash is it's pretty much a whole bunch of fire coming out the end of the gun well the end of the barrel when you shoot it and that can blind you sometimes but I'm pretty much used to it because I, I played a lot of FPS games that's mostly all I play so muzzle flash is like a thing of the past to me I know that rhymes but I wasn't trying to rhyme so sorry for that so one of the techniques that I like to use when I use the FAMAS is you have to lean a lot like Leaning with this gun is a very crucial technique and it can make or break this gun for people. And if you don't know how to lean that good, then this FAMAS might not be for you. Because that's one of the easiest ways to manage the recoil. Like it always goes either straight up and down or up and to the right. It's kind of random at times. But when it does go good, it goes great. So Another thing about this gun, the hip fire spread is very, very tight. Like, you can hip fire this thing like it's an SMG, but they have to be up close. You can't do that with a lot of assault rifles. Some of them wear hip fire patterns. Like, what's one that got a weird hip fire pattern? The TAR 21 in this game has a very weird, very, very weird hip fire spread. But it's pretty much good aiming down the sights. This gun is not so great aim down the sights if you don't know how to tap fire, but from the hip, it's just beautiful. So, another tip that you should learn about this gun, and I didn't learn this until it's level 61 actually taught me this. And I'm not going to say his name because he doesn't play this game anymore, but pretty much he experienced a lot with this gun. And one of his tips to me for using this gun, because I always see him using it, he just does great with it was try using the iron sights because the iron sights actually gives the, the gun less recoil and I was like what? so I actually tried it and to my behold it actually does reduce the recoil a lot so if you're not used to the recoil of this gun I suggest going with the iron sight first and then maybe progress your way up to actually using the sight because the iron sight how it does reduce recoil it does have a very limited sight like the sight is just awkward to use but as long as you got like it's like a little tiny circle with an arrow going up as long as you got that arrow on people like you can pretty much just obliterate them no other gun really can like stand up to this except for like mm, let's see the vector <laughs> I think that's like the only thing that shoots just as fast as this gun or maybe the MG4, but nobody really uses like machine guns that much in this game, which is bad because the game is great. So, especially the M60, so I suggest y'all try that. But anyways, back on top about this gun. This gun is good at close range and at long range. Because you can take this gun on a on a pretty decent map. I wouldn't say Sidewinder size because that's that's a pretty huge map. Something like Death Square. You can pretty much shoot spawn to spawn with this gun and be perfectly fine. Because I've did it myself, done it before, seen other do it, and I don't know why people call hacks on that. Because it's nothing bad about the FAMAS unless you, they never tried it or they probably just tried it in the preview menu. 
and just was like, oh my god, no, too much recoil, I can't do this. No, I quit. I stop. I, I stop. But you can shoot from across the map with this gun. Like, it does have a lot of recoil, but you must, must learn how to tap fire before you even attempt to just spray across the map. I mean, you can. It might be on target for a little bit, but say if you use the 30 round cartridge instead of 25, you'll probably only get about 10 hits and that's enough to kill someone but that's a whole lot of spray and I doubt you want to waste a whole cartridge just on spraying a person down. I mean, it's not a bad thing to spray a person down, if you know what I'm saying, but I wouldn't suggest doing it in this game where there's multiple enemies, unless it was a one-on-one -on -one that you can spray all you want. A little side note before this video is over, one of the reasons I wasn't able to post this on Monday is because I actually had a lot of things to do, like I was recording people's videos, I record music videos and stuff, I actually edit them and stuff, it's nothing really big. If you ever wanted to see it, I can give you a link to one of them. And I was also doing a couple of skits, and one of them's on my friend's page, and I'll be posting like some behind the scenes stuff on here, just because I was in it. And I thought it was pretty funny because I had my hair out and I was looking all weird trying to look like Trinidad James. Pretty much I was just doing a parody of him. It's, it's all cool. It's all cool. So, yeah. I'll try and get some more stuff up when I'm actually not that busy because I'm always busy. I'm always editing, doing something. So, yeah. That was pretty much the Roof of Moss review for you. This gameplay has been provided once again by my boy Aikusli and if you didn't check it out before or the other time you don't know what you've been missing man so go over there and hit that subscribe button this has been your boy United Buns One Peace I'm out